So here we are, January 2023, and just a couple of weeks ago, we had the largest MLK march in the United States right here in San Antonio. And Martin Luther King said, I have a dream. Well, Howie's here to tell you that I have a vision. And my vision is that some of you don't have vision statements for your business. Well, Howie, what's a vision statement? Thank you for asking. Vision statement simply states what you do, how you do it, and why you do it. Unlike a mission statement, which may change if the type of business that you're doing evolves, your vision statement as the entrepreneur doesn't change. This was your original vision. The other thing that a vision statement does is that it takes into account as though there are no barriers whatsoever. So in other words, money's not a problem. Competitors are not a threat. This is the vision that you had when you first thought about creating your business. And you want to post that on your social media. You want to put it on your website. It tells your clients and your prospects, this company has these aspirations and this is what I can count on. So there's a great story that I heard many years ago. I got a chance to listen to an author who wrote a book called The Pumpkin Plan. And I thought, what an odd name for a book, right? But it sounded intriguing. So I went and listened to this guy and he says, look, this is the best way I can explain vision. Let's say you're a pumpkin farmer. You have to have a vision as to what kind of pumpkin farmer you're going to be if you want to make money on it. So I'll localize it to San Antonio because he wasn't from here. But let's say you wanted to create or grow the world's largest pumpkin. Well, that's your vision. You're going to have to be somewhat of an architect and a builder so you can create a shed around it. You're also going to have to be heartless and cut off all the little cute pumpkins that are along the same vine because they're sucking nutrients from this colossal pumpkin because your vision is to create and grow the largest pumpkin ever. Now, let's say you were the kind of pumpkin farmer that was going to create a business to sell pumpkins during October and November for Halloween and Thanksgiving and you're going to sell them at HEB. Then, you don't want a big pumpkin on your vine. You want a bunch of cute little ones and some medium ones and some larger ones. So if you don't have a clear vision statement, how do you know what kind of pumpkins you're going to be growing? Now, how do we relate that to our business? Well, once again, if we don't have a vision, chances are anywhere we get to, we think that's our destination. But many of those times we get there and then the destination isn't profitable. It's not fulfilling. It's not what we had originally intended. So. Here's my homework for you guys today. Between this week and next week, I want you to write out your vision statement. It should be one or two sentences. What I want to do, how I want to do it, and why I want to do it. Find your vision.